But here we have the Terra Bungee Gate. Um, it says Terra Bungee Gate on the on the package. This is from Terra Gate. Uh, it's a New Zealand product. And this bungee cord actually has conductors woven into it. You can adjust it. And on this particular gate, I don't really need this big of a gate. And what I'm doing is just kind of mocking up the size gate I want. Now, this tail, if, if you wanted to, you could cut it off, but for our purposes, I might want to use it somewhere else. So I'm just going to take some zip strips and zip strip it, and it'll still stretch just fine. So we're back here again with our bungee, our Terra bungee gate, and our fence is coming off of our existing high tensile fence. And we've determined that our middle wire is going to be this third wire down on our temporary fence. And the, the bungee gate comes with a pin lock insulator. And this is what our locking mechanism goes into. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mount this insulator, this locking mechanism insulator, at about my third. We kind of got our wire in the way here, our, our string. but. We're going to mount it on our post, and this is, this is some wood posts we used. And this is what we're going to mount our gate to. And this will end up being our middle wire. So we want our one strand bungee gate to be on our middle wire. We're just going to take the end of it, drop it into our insulator, and that's how our bungee gate connects. One of the cool things about the Terra bungee gate is, is this locking spring mechanism. I can actually adjust my Terra bungee and make it tighter and then just pop my spring back over top of it. Um, this is a really cool feature because it not only has an adjustment on one end, it has it also on the handle. So anytime your fence needs to be tightened, your, your gate needs to be tightened, you can do that. Just with a simple slide of the spring, pull of the bungee. Since how this is a temporary fence, we're going to be using the Terra Gate conductor, and it's a it, it it has a bolt with a couple of washers, and you can connect a insulated wire to it over to your hot wire, um, so that once the fence is the gate is undone, that it's no longer hot. This is basically becomes a dead gate. Once we hook it to our fence it'll be hot and you can do this with with any top fence that you have uh, you can also if you've got a fence on the other side you can run an insulated wire down and through the ground up the other side and continue your electric on through but the only time the gate is hot is when it's connected to your conductor and I'll, I'll show you all that here after a while so what we're trying to do right now is get a measurement for our temporary gate. I'm going to get a post here. And what we're going to be using here is our inch and three quarter end fence. Um, it's probably going to be somewhere about right there. I really love this gate. It stretches. So we're going to install a, a inch and three quarter uh, termination fence here. Now drop these down. I drop this down to about 42 inches, um, and of course, it's got everything pre-measured here, and I want to be about in the fourth hole at about a 45 and what I want to do is I want to be right on that line and I want to be right about on that fourth hole
folks it is humid out here today i'm talking it is so humid i am burning up i'm literally just losing water as we speak it's hot um so you have to excuse the sweat uh it's, it's like a 104 index today um we've got our inexpensive uh corner here that we're using for our temporary um our temporary gate post we're bringing our our uh, terra bungee gate into this and we're going to mount our our fence conductor here to our uh, to our corner and we're just going to run a one inch it's just a one inch sheet metal screw in there and that's what I love about these timeless products you can pretty much adapt them any way you want to you can cut them easy you can modify them easy now some of the things that I do with them uh, will avoid the warranty but when you're on the homestead and you're needing something real quick and real easy it's really nice to have something that is so easy to work with if I need a shorter post if I need a longer post if I need uh, an insulator uh, and I've got an extra post laying around I can cut it up and make insulators out of it um, there's just a million and one uses for the Thomas post okay so now we have our connector here this is our conductor um, we're going to take and put a insulated wire on here uh, it tightens up and we're going to connect that to our fence our uh, poly rope fence and seeing how we're not going to you know we may have to use this again um, I've just got some cheap little um, zip strips and I'm just going to zip strip this extra out of the way Again, this is the Terra Bungee Gate. Comes from Terra Gate out of New Zealand. Made in uh, made in New Zealand, Hamilton, New Zealand, right there. Uh, by some good folks, uh, Carrie and Barbara Powell. This is their company, Terra Gate. Uh, really innovative idea with a with an electric bungee cord. This makes for a really tight gate. This gate's going to be tight all the time. Um, and it's going to it's real easy to open and real easy to close and once this gate is open it's dead uh, you can hang it back on your fence uh, you can drop it on the ground whatever it's 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 not hot until you hook it to the conductor